Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. At the beginning of the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I cook probably the most requested recipe. Yes, I'm going to cook for you goulash. It's one of the favorite dishes of my family and my friends, and we cook it really often, especially when it's winter time. Usually I do it with a half pork and a half beef meat, but since we only have beef in the house, we'll do today just beef goulash. I'm going to make a small amount because it's only three of us and we only planned it to eat for tonight's dinner, but if you have more family members or you want to have it for a few days, then I recommend you to go with a double of all the ingredients. Let's get started. And this is where the measuring starts. We prepared 500 grams of beef and whatever is the amount of your meat, exactly a half of that must be the amount of onion. In this case, 500 grams of meat and 250 grams of onion. First of all, it's always good to have help in the kitchen since I don't like to cut ingredients. My husband is the best. Cut the onion as tiny as you can and meat in little cubes. We need a tiny little cup of vegetable oil, a tiny little cup of pasta sauce, a half teaspoon of smoked paprika, one tablespoon or 17 grams of vegeta all-purpose seasoning, seven whole black peppers and two bay leaves, 300 milliliters of tomato puree, a teaspoon of sugar and we'll need some water. At the beginning I just want you to make a difference between pasta sauce that includes some herbs and spices, in this case it's basil, and tomato puree, which is pure tomato. I got some chunky pieces, so I blended before. Pour this little cup of vegetable oil inside the pot, add all the cut onions and start frying them on medium to low fire for about 10 to 15 minutes. It's very important to fry them really, really well so you don't fill them later and it makes your sauce extra dense. While frying your onions, cover your meat cubes with a little cup of pasta sauce and let it sit. Make sure you stir your onions very often so they don't burn and after 10 to 15 minutes you can add meat cubes with the pasta sauce. Add vegeta or all-purpose seasoning and smoked paprika. Leave it like this for 3 or 4 minutes and, of course, stir it very, very often. After a few minutes, add tomato puree. Add a teaspoon of sugar so it kills all the sourness from tomato puree. Stir it and cook it for another 3 to 4 minutes. After that time, add a liter of water so we make sure all the meat cubes are covered in water. 
Also later on during the cooking, if you realize that your goulash needs a little bit more water, you can add little by little. And now you just need to add black pepper and bay leaves and to let your goulash cook for one and a half to two hours on a medium to a low temperature. But of course, check it often to see if it needs a stir or more water. At the beginning, it always looks a little bit liquidy, but after that amount of time, it's going to be dense and just perfect. Before the end of cooking, I always recommend to try your goulash and to decide if you need more salt or black pepper or maybe some spicy paprika. And I think it's time to enjoy the best goulash in the world. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave me a like and subscribe to my channel. Stay home, stay safe, stay positive. See you soon.